Well, it's happened. The Affordable Care Act is the law. A lot of people were hoping, praying, voting that things would happen that we wouldn't have to deal with this, uh, that it would all go away. Well, it didn't. And so now we are working our way through this. We are trying our best to uh, figure out how this works, how this applies to you as employers or to you as your clients, but it's one way or the other, it's, it's going to impact everybody in this room. So what this shared responsibility requires is that you offer health coverage to substantially all of your full-time employees and their dependents, and that this coverage be affordable. If you don't meet these requirements, you may have to pay a financial penalty. You've got your measurement period that's running the same 12 months of every year. You've got your administrative period where you gather that data and decide who's going to be full-time for the following 12 months, and you apply it for the stability period following. So you know for 12 months at a time who you have to offer coverage to, at least of the folks that have been in your employ since the beginning of the measurement period. There are many implications in the labor and employment area that come up because of this particular act, uh, starting with the just instability of the way it came into being. The problem that I see just looking out at the landscape is that there is too much uncertainty regarding how this will affect cost. And if you are attempting to bargain a contract that could last three or four years, the first thing you have to do is determine how much as an employer you have to put into this particular contract.